that has afforded me the opportunity. Louise Zilstra is a golf pro who lives for the game. But two years ago, her hands became numb. She had trouble walking. The diagnosis, rapidly progressive, multiple sclerosis. Doctors said within two years, she wouldn't be on a golf course, but in a wheelchair. It was disaster. It was, you know, when you think, I, I might not play golf again, that's, uh, and that's what you do, it's, it's like, what am I going to do? Already she had attained a level of disability that was significant. There was no treatment for her aggressive form of MS, so Dr. Mark Friedman suggested an experiment underway in Israel. Researchers there are testing something called mesenchymal stem cells, cells in our bone marrow with the power to turn into heart tissue, bone, cartilage, perhaps even nerve cells. Experimental data suggests that such cells can help repair existing damage. After taking some of these cells from patients, they grow them into large quantities and then return them to the patient. Preliminary research suggests this treatment may help patients with ALS and spinal cord injuries. The secret is to, to do the treatment of choice at an early stage of the disease, before irreversible changes occur. It's experimental, but doctors are offering it to patients who have no other option, like Louise. And in the eight months since her treatment this spring, the improvements have been gradual but dramatic. It's night and day. It's, you know, a complete 180 from, from where I was. She's recovered substantial function very quickly. She's out golfing and out golfing most people, uh, which is quite incredible. Three other MS patients have either gone or planned to go to Israel for this treatment, and Canadian doctors say they hope to start trials of the therapy sometime next year. Intrigued by Louisa's story and by the possibility that her own cells may have helped to restore her health. Oh, Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.